Hi everyone, Ramesh here back again with another video. In this video we are going to learn how to read a user input or a keyboard input using scanner class. So I am going to take a login and a registration examples to demonstrate the usage of scanner class. Alright, so this video is especially for the Java beginners who want to know how to read a data from the console or keyboard or user input by using scanner class. Alright, let's get started. So in Eclipse, I have created a Java Tutorials project and inside that project, I am going to create a class. So right click new and choose class and just name class as login. And here I am going to quickly create a main method and let's create an instance of scanner class. So I am going to use try with resource statement to automatically close the scanner class object. So as we know that Java 7 provides try with resource treatment to automatically close the resources. Alright, scanner is the resource, we should close it after using it. Alright, so basically we, uh, you know, close the resource in the finally block, but uh, after Java 7, Java 7 provides a try with resource treatment to automatically close the resources. So we are going to use this feature here. So I am going to create a scanner class object here and I am going to pass system dot on system dot in here uh, because i'm going to read a uh, input from the console or from the keyboard and here what i will do so this is the login example so we, we need to read a username and password from the console so for that what i will do here is i will just declare a variable string variable username and i'm going to read a string just call next line method and before that I will just put here a system dot out print ln. okay and here uh, what I will do I will just uh, say enter username all right and I'm going to uh, remove this ln okay now what I will do I will just provide a uh, one more sys out here and I will just say enter password okay great and let's uh, read a password and keep in some variable here i'm going to store a password in a password string variable scanner call next line method okay so now we uh, we have stored a username and password in a string variable and what we will do we will validate this username and password with the hard coded data for example if i am going to say username as ramesh dot equals and here i am going to pass username and 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 this is so look at here the condition 99 so we are going to use uh, this condition because we are going to validate both username and password and I'm going to pass password dot equals and here password alright so we are just checking whether username and password both are equal or not so if both are equal then just we print user is successfully logged in okay successfully logged in and if any of the condition fails or if the username and password not equal then we just say invalid username or password pretty simple nothing fancy here okay so what we have done is we have read a username and we store it in a username variable and we have read a you know password from the uh, you know console and we kept in a password variable and here we are just checking whether username and password are equal if they are equal then we just print user is successfully logged in otherwise we, we just print invalid username and password all right let's go ahead and let's run this program and look at the output here and just provide a username like ramesh and password as password and hit enter here we go username is successfully logged in because user ramesh and password both are equal here look at here in the program okay so i'm going to remove this ln so that we can keep in a single line so let's see the another scenario 
so I am going to give a uh, username as something like Tony okay and password as password so this this will give a invalid username and password okay this message because username is not equal here okay hit enter so look at here invalid username or password all right so this is a pretty simple login example using you know scanner class so this is how we read a username and password so in typical web applications we create a form html form and we allow user to enter username and password in a form and once user submit the form then that uh, you know where well, uh, that credential will be authenticated with uh, uh you know uh, with a server at a back end all right but in our case we are creating a very simple login example uh, to demonstrate how to read uh, you know data from the console or a user input or keyboard using scanner class all right so this is the login example now let's go ahead and let us see how to read uh, a registration data from the console for that i am going to create a class here and I am going to name this class as a registration okay and here I am going to create one more class and I am going to call it as a register and inside that let's create few fields like first name and private string last name so what I am going to do here is I just read this data from the console and I will just you know populate the data into this class object okay so let us see how to do that private i am going to create here email id okay and private string i am going to read a password from the console and here i am going to create a phone number instance variable all right to register a user these fields are enough and now let's go ahead and let's create quickly getter setters to access these private fields okay great now let's uh, write a code to read you know uh, these uh, data from the console so i'm going to again use try with resource statement to close the scanner object automatically and here i'm going to create a scanner instance scanner and just pass system dot in great now let's go ahead and let's so here i'm going to first create you know uh, a register object a register class object okay great now let's go ahead and let's read first name last name email id password phone number from the command line or from the console so for that i'm going to here put some sys out i'm going to say enter enter first name all right and here i'm going to remove this ln because i'm going to keep this in a single line and here uh, just i'm going to you know uh, take first name in a uh, some variable here equal to scanner dot next line use next line method to read the string and here i'm going to provide again the sys out here and i'm going to say enter enter last name all right and here i'm going to keep last name in some variable string variable scanner dot call next line method to read the string and again put the sys out here and i'm going to read a email id all right So store email id in some variable here and use scanner dot next line method to read the string all right and uh, again provides this out here and i'm going to say enter password all right and let's read a password from the in the console and store it in some variable like this scanner dot call the next line method to read the string okay and i'm going to again uh, read a uh, you know phone number phone number from the console and here i'm going to 
store a phone number in a long okay so look at here i am using long type here long for me to type and i'm going to call scanner dot next long okay i'm not going to call a string here i'm going to call long because phone number is kind of a long integer all right and i'm going to remove here ln because i'm going to keep everything in a single line great now what we will do we will we'll store this data into a register object first name first name and here again just set a last name to the register object like this and register dot set email id and we'll store like this and here i'm going to store password set password and here let's go ahead and let's store phone number register dot set phone number that's it so what we have done we have read all the register data from the console and we just populated this data into a register object now what we'll do we'll print this register object okay for that i am going to create a separate method here private white and i am going to call method as print register data all right and here i am going to pass a register object here okay and provide some sysout and just call register dot get first name sysout register dot get name last name similarly register dot get email id all right sysout register dot get password and here is out register dot get phone number okay so why have created this register class is that so if you want to store this data in a database then you can use this register class to you know to pass the data from one method to another method for example like this okay so instead of passing all the parameters to the method you can you can create object of the class and you can populate this object with all the data and you can pass pass to the method like this instead of passing these all parameters okay so you can extend this example by you know storing data into a database for example consider a mysql database so you can use a jdbc connection with a mysql database and you can store this data in a mysql database okay so let me quickly run this program here look at here and enter the first name i'm going to say ramesh and last name i'm going to call it as a photo array and email id i'm going to give ramesh at the rate gmail.com and enter password i'm going to enter like pass at the rate one two three and here phone number i'm going to give some 10 digit number here that's it Right, this is how we read input data and we need to print that right so for that i'm going to call this method here and i'm going to pass this object and this should be static method because we need to call us we should call a static method inside another static method and here i'm going to run the program again and just give a post name as a ramesh last name email id all right and password and phone number and here is the output okay so look at here the data is printed to the console all right so this is a very simple example you can extend this example by storing data into some databases in case of login you can store username and password in a in a database and you can validate this username and password with a database username and password all right i hope you uh, you know at least understood how to use scanner class to read uh, you know input from the console all right i hope you understood and if you want to use a swing 
uh, with the login and registration i have created a separate video tutorials on that i have created a screen for login and registration page using swing components and i have used mysql database to store a login and registration data over there and and i have validated login credentials with the mysql database all right so uh, you can visit my previous video tutorials uh, with a swing this is just a very simple example to demonstrate the usage of scanner class all right so thanks for watching i hope you found this video tutorial useful subscribe to my youtube channel whenever i will publish such videos you will get notified thanks for watching i will see you in the next video